Welcome to another Chef Knife to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and we're looking at a special uh, outdoor knife, hunting knife. This is the Takeda Algami Super 4 inch uh, wooden handled sheath knife. And so this is Takeda's classic, uh, kind of uh, his classic ironclad look with the crinkled finish on it. Um, it's kind of a mini version of uh, his kitchen knives, but let's take a look at um, uh, the core steel is Algami. Blue paper, uh, super reactive high carbon steel from Itachi. The heat treats about 61, maybe 62 Rockwell on that core steel. The construction, again, is his, like his classic series knives. It's got uh, soft iron cladding over the top of each side of that Algami super core for a three layer sandwich. And it's got a Kuda Uchi finish on top of that with kind of a crinkle uh, finish to it. The um, knife weight, it's pretty light. It's four ounces, uh, 112 grams. And uh, the edge length measuring from the tip to the back of the actual sharpened edge is about 88 millimeters or three and a half inches. And then the tip to the front of the bolster, including the Ricasso, is about 95 millimeters. The overall length is about 8.15 inches, 207 millimeters. The spine thickness on this is pretty much three and a half millimeters all the way down till you hit the actual grind. And I would kind of categorize this as kind of a saber style grind. Although we'll see it's a zero grinder right to the edge. Blade height is 25 and a quarter millimeters. And let's take a close-up look. This is a nicely made knife by hand, totally by hand, hand hammered, you know, by Takeda-san. And um, I don't have a specific on the wood, but it sure looks like ironwood to me. So that's what I wrote down. Uh, I think it's ironwood. It could possibly be something else, but uh, it's really nicely figured. Nice finish to it, kind of a matte finish. You've got a metal uh, bolster with a finger guard. Here is your typical Takeda uh, markings in miniature. Pretty awesome. Zero grind edge. This thing is ridiculously stupid sharp, as you might expect, out of the box. There's your core steel showing at the edge. Here's a close-up of the blade thickness, so it's pretty stout, it's extremely stiff, and maintains a lot of strength and metal into the tip. You do have um, a slight kind of bow into the spine, so it comes down just a little and back up again, but definitely drop point style blade shape. Make a nice knife for skinning, processing game. And um, balance point is pretty much right in front of that first pin. The, I guess the handle work plus I guess the general construction is done by, by as the website says, Kansai uh, Matsuno. You've got uh, a metal lined lanyard hole. As far as um, you know, feel and handle, um, it's not a wide handle, but it's a little bit. Uh, wider this way so it's not wide in the, the width with the longitude of the knife but it's wide this way height I guess if you want to say that way. Um, the edges are not super rounded so it's kind of got a little bit more of a boxy edge to it but it definitely locks your grip in. And I've got medium sized hands. My fingers aren't real long but my hands themselves fairly kind of standard medium size so I can easily do a four finger grip on that and um, if you've got hands a little bit bigger than that, it should work as well uh, on this handle without having to you know, go for a three-finger grip. Um, really nice feel in the hands, kind of light and nimble feeling. Um, easy to get your thumb up there. You've got enough where you could get your finger up there if you wanted to. If your hand, fingers are longer, you can get them further than mine. But beautifully crafted blade. Excellent steel that has great edge retention. This isn't going to be something you're going to go baton through wood probably, but processing game, as long as you're not going to whack on bones and stuff, you should have a great long-lasting edge with this thing. And it comes with a nicely made sheath as well. So thick leather, um, thick spacer, dark burnish uh, color on the burnishing on the edges. But the only suggestion I would have when you put the knife in there and snap it, it doesn't draw super tight, so you can actually pull the knife out and when it should catch on the finger guard and keep it from popping out, 
Um, so what you might want to do is in the belt loop, you may want to take and put a spacer back there to effectively tighten the loop itself, since you're not going to move the snap, of course. Um, or if you, I guess you could make your own loop if you wanted to redo a second loop, because the loop will pull through if you want to do that. But it um, takes about a two inch belt uh, easily, and just a nicely made sheath. So, uh, you know, just a really nice combination, the exception of tightening up that sheath retain retention a little bit. Really nice package. So, nobody in Deer Camp will have one of these. <laughs> They're a very unique knife, but beautifully crafted blade, handmade one at a time. There is the Takeda Algami Super 4-inch wooden handled, or I believe it's ironwood, sheath knife.